Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Today we will study the Pulse Code Modulation PCM. Here we will study the advantages and disadvantages offered by the Pulse Code Modulation. But before that, it is important to understand what is Pulse Code Modulation. So let's understand what is Pulse Code Modulation. The pulse code modulation is a technique which is used to transmit analog signals in digital form. To convert analog signals into digital or binary form, first of all that analog signal is converted from the continuous time domain into discrete time domain with the help of sampling process. When we sample a signal, then that the signal that is continuous in time converts into a signal that is discrete in time. Okay? It do not have value at every instant of time. Now this uh, sampled signal in the form of discrete time is uh, taken to another process known as uh, the process of quantization. In the process of quantization we assign certain levels of amplitude values to the continuous range of amplitude and in this the signal is assigned the nearest value to that certain level. So this is the process of quantization and after the process of quantization we convert this uh, signal in the form of digital form with the help of pulse code modulation PCM. So in this way the analog signal can be converted into binary form and it is transmitted digitally with the help of pulse code modulation technique. Okay. This pulse code modulation is used in uh, uh, lots of applications like uh, in uh, digital audio and uh, video recording and broadcast technologies. Okay, so now let's discuss uh, various advantages and disadvantages of pulse code modulation. So let's start with the, the advantages of PCM. The first advantage is very high noise immunity. The pulse code modulation offers us a very high noise immunity. Since we know that uh, pulse code modulated signal is a digital in nature which is less susceptible to interference and noise in comparison to analog signals. The reason behind this uh, why it is more uh, why it is uh, less susceptible to noise is that actually the waveform the digital waveform do not have to be reproduced exactly as it is transmitted because if it is close enough to be uh, to the expected value of binary 1 then it is reliably reproduced into an actual binary 1 okay it do not require to be as accurate as in case of uh, analog signal therefore the digital signals are more immune to noise and they can easily be reproduced without uh, more difficulty the next advantage is in pulse code modulation pcm repeaters are used between the transmitter and the receiver repeaters are used to regenerate the received pcm signal the use of repeaters is possible due to digital nature of the signal so it is not possible in case of analog signals in pulse code modulation system we place uh, many repeaters along the line of transmission and the uh, use of repeaters is to receive the signal and then they decode the signal and after decoding it is used to retransmit the PCM data and this allows the signal to travel long distances without any data corruption without any noise okay actually the signal is completely regenerated by each repeater so it is possible to retransmit the signal multiple times without any degradation in quality this is not possible in case of analog signals the third advantage effect of noise is further reduced due to the use of repeaters okay this is the same uh, uh, advantage actually we have discussed that uh, by using repeaters the effect of noise is reduced because they can decode and retransmit the signal after removing any noise from it and we again at the output of the repeater we get a noise free signal the fourth advantage Due to its digital nature, we can easily store PCM signals. As I have already told you that uh, PCM digital data is used in computer hard drives, uh, CDs, DVDs or flash drives uh, to easily store and retrieve that data. In many other audio applications, uh, it is used for easy storage of the digital data. It is uh, since PCM is in digital, PCM is of digital nature. 
it can be used to digitally storage data in computer hard drives flash drives cds and dvds so from the point of uh, storage point of view it is a big advantage of pcm the fifth advantage the last advantage one more advantage of using PCM is the security of the signal. We can use various kinds of coding techniques so that only the desired person can decode the received signal. This is an important advantage of uh, PCM which is highly used in, in security applications and uh, it can be useful while transmitting sensitive or very secure information. Okay. After using this uh, various kinds of uh, encoding techniques only a specific decoder can uh, decode that underlying data for others it is just a, a meaningless binary data so this property of pcm due to its digital nature is uh, highly used in transmitting secure and sensitive information maybe it may be used in banking or in military services that need high level of security now let's discuss some disadvantages also although the disadvantages are less in comparison to advantages the first disadvantage is the pulse code modulation pcm requires large bandwidth as compared to other techniques because of its digital nature it requires large amount of bandwidth in comparison to other techniques okay the second disadvantage is the encoding, decoding and quantizing circuitry of pulse code modulation is quite complex in comparison to other techniques of modulation. The encoding, decoding and quantizing circuitry is very complex. So this is obviously a disadvantage of PCM. So this is all about uh, pulse code modulation and its advantages and disadvantages. In the next videos, we will discuss more such topics in detail. So till then, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog, www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com. Its link is given in the description of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.